Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today we are going to be looking at how I put together and painted this beast. It's the Wingman from Apex Legends, one of my favorite new games, and this thing is awesome. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Well, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I have not had some videos out lately. It has been crazy. Uh, as you can see, I set up a little bit of a different area to show this stuff off. Um, I have been printing. I have been putting things together. I have just not had a lot of time for videos. That is all going to be remedied uh, starting now. I have got tons of things printed and shot that I've worked on. You can see some of them that I haven't done videos before. And... There's just going to be a ton of videos now finally getting to roll out now that I'm I'm caught up in the real world. Uh, not that this isn't the real world, but I think you know what I mean. So, The Wingman. I love this game. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I love some of the, I love the characters. I love how you can, you know, obviously you can play with other people. Uh, it's just a really fun game, and uh, I'm not too bad at it. Not like Fortnite. So, this beast is uh, The Wingman. It's one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful handgun in the game and I am holding it here with my finger right somebody uh, people keep posting about that someone uh, did a couple videos back so it's fingers always like this and uh, this is from Yuri and uh, 3d workbench you can check out his um, patreon channel in the description below for almost nothing you get access to these amazing files and they are just fantastic he's a great guy go over there and support him to grab this file he prints everything and tests it out before he posts the files just fantastic while you're at it check out my patreon page i've been adding a lot more files and a lot more posts and even more to come in the next couple months so let's go ahead and check out how i put this together all right so when i play apex legends i love playing bloodhound uh, got some great tracking stuff i need that and I do like fighting with the wingman. I don't do it a lot just because, you know, you got to really be up close with that. And I'm not really good up close. But when we're working on the gun, it was awesome, of course, as Yuri puts these things together. He plans everything out. You've got a peg here for your main part. And I'm just going to start gluing this guy up using, obviously, way too much glue. But um, I need to get better with that because glue is costing me a lot of money. Now, when you've got two pieces like this, I always like to use... Uh, clamps because especially when you have two pieces and then you know there's slots where things fit into other pieces uh, you need to make sure there's as little of a you know gap there so they'll fit as possible then I did a little bondo work messy and <laughs> cleaned it all up and then I sanded it down using a new primer that I'm testing out it's kind of expensive it's like 15 bucks a can but man this stuff is like high I can't what they call it, high level or whatever. So it's really nice. I'm using all clad lacquers. So this is the gloss black. And I'm going to use the dark aluminum for the rest of the body. And we're just going to be airbrushing those on. And before and uh, really after we use uh, the black, we'll be taping it up with a variety of tapes. Uh, I like to use the... Um, you know, blue tape and then some pinstriping tape because this stuff really helps you bend and sort of groove things around and then other various forms to get it going. And here we go. We're just going to go ahead and start putting some gloss on and I'm using my airbrush. And this is a cheapy little airbrush. Everything will be in the description below. Uh, everything that I use, uh, paints wise and links and their affiliate links help the channel out. And uh, yeah, there we are. I've got my respirator on. You can't see that because this stuff is like a fine, fine mist. And we're just putting the gloss on. And I turned around and I saw my dad uh, sanding something. <laughs> it's a sword. You'll see that in another video. I'm in my dad's workshop here if you haven't guessed. So tape things off and I sprayed them down with the dark aluminum. And now again, we're just going to be taking off the tape here. And, you know, Yuri did a fantastic job. There's so many little details in here and not a ton of tape work. Uh, thank goodness, because it is fun to this part to watch it actually uh, uh, reveal itself. But uh, it is a, a drag sometimes to actually have to do the taping. But, you know, really happy, sanded this stuff up really well. And uh, the, the primer worked great. And just uh, really dig this gun and it is like a monster it is huge and okay we'll just go ahead and unpeel the rest of this guy up 
and I probably could have saved a little paint by taping off the handles uh, that are going to end up being painted like a faux wood, but eh, tape everywhere. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and just glossed it up. Why not? And uh, yeah, there we go. And of course, one last little tape job here, this little uh, whatever it is, a uh, little C. Now, this is an internal piece. This holds uh, really the gun together, uh, the barrel part. So we're just going to go ahead and slide that in, and it only goes in one way. And then we're going to finesse it just gently, <laughs> pounding on that thing and sliding the other piece through. Now, the funny thing is I didn't even glue that first piece because I just rammed it in there and just... <laughs> it was a tight fit, so I didn't glue that one at all, but I, of course, glued the other one. Then I taped it off again, and I painted it brown, and I thought my recorder was on, but it wasn't. And then I used a dry brush to sort of get in these little different shades of brown to make it look like wood. Uh, and I've done that in other videos. And then we're just going to start adding some detail to this little see you know thing here and uh, this is just a brass uh acrylic and again all the things will be in the description below these these little pieces parts are really what makes these guns just stand out any prop stand out is the uh the detail work and again just more stuff i'm looking at the reference and i'm painting and adding things to this isn't dry yet, but I said, why not? And again, we're going to do all these little ovals in the barrel. Because uh, the more detail you add and the more sort of color you add and then doing your, you know, your weathering just really, really helps. Popping off some of these tape lines. Now to get this, I taped the handle and I used an X-Acto and then removed everything so that only this was left. So when I spray painted it and then painted it, nothing would get on it. And uh, I was really happy with that. It really worked well. Now, for this, I'm actually using um, silver, the rub and buff, with a little bit of water. Uh, I find it goes on so much better with a little bit of water, and uh, it just has such amazing coverage. It's one coat, and you are done. So there we go. It looks nice and silver. Once I weather that, it'll, it'll knock it down a bit, and we'll take all the tape off, and we're done taping, thank goodness. And uh, it's looking pretty sharp, looking pretty sharp. The wood grain actually looks kind of neat. And I'm just going to add in some little details, a little bit of silver here and there. Um, I'm going to paint in like all the little dots. I'm going to paint those in black uh, that you see on those barrels there. Again, the more of the little bit of detail you can add, the more it makes it look like an actual real object. Now we're going to put this little uh, guy in here. That's a technical term. And... Uh, Again, painted brass, and then we're going to put this piece in here, and it's something. Uh, people who know guns will be like, oh my god, he is uh, he knows nothing about uh, firearms. No, I think that's the thing that, that is the thing that hits the bullet that make it go boom. So, <laughs> and in here I am using an obscene amount of glue, uh, but you know, this is a big piece. Uh, this gun, once you, you know, it is huge, so I figured why not? So that piece is in there. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, add the other barrel piece. And again, obscene amount of glue. But hey, let's make sure this all sticks together. Now, Yuri did a great job. It's keyed. It only fits in one way. And we'll just set that down and let it dry. Okay, now we're going to put in the barrel. And again, just some glue. Let it sit, and I'm hitting some of this stuff with the accelerant just off camera or in between the edits. Now, this piece was a little tricky to get on, and this kind of thing happens. When you're putting something on that uh, is got to slide into two pieces you've already glued together, so there's ex extra width to it as there is, it can be tricky. So what I end up doing is I use clamps. You don't want to go too crazy with the clamps because we are dealing with just plastic. But I tightened those up and it pulled or pulled it, squeezed that thing together. And here we go. So happy with how this thing turned out. Yuri did an amazing job. It is just, it's one of my favorites. All right. There's the wingman. Uh, super easy to put together. Uh, easy to paint. The taping off isn't really difficult. There's not crazy areas. Uh, I love doing that wood grain look. 
I used an automotive gloss um, sealant over it, and I really lucked out uh, because it didn't uh, affect the paint. I meant to use the <laughs> my airbrush to do it, and I just wasn't thinking uh, because there's the, the 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 kind of clear coat that works definitely well with that paint, and I didn't use it, and I totally lucked out. As you're going to see, there's another pistol I worked on of Yuri's, and I used that same clear coat and the paint job. I love how it looks, but it definitely affected the paint job. So again, here is uh, this awesome thing. Again, I printed this all with uh, ZL Tech uh, filament. Check out the description down below. There's a coupon code. Get 15% off your filament. I use it for everything. Uh, it, it It's an affiliate link. Of course, I get a little cash, which I use to buy filament. <laughs> and... Um, so it's an affiliate link, but uh, I've never had a tangle. It prints well, it sands great, and I really dig it. So you can go to the description below to check out Yuri's Patreon page, my Patreon page, uh, a page that shows all the things I use to make this, so the paints and whatnot, and of course, um, Zealtech filament. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Press like if you did, and hit the little bell to get uh, notifications really quickly. And I will see you again next week when we take a look at something else. I'm going to just pick something off the wall and uh, after this video and, and start shooting that. I'll change my shirt, though, so the intro looks like I didn't shoot it right after this one. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. Have a great day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.